Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and today I'm going to show you how to make a protest sign that will extinguish a tear gas can. Now let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is take my square of cardboard and cut it down the middle, but I'm only going to cut about halfway into the cardboard. That way I can fold it over. And I'm going to cut a about a one inch notch in the top here to make a hole for the uh, pipe to go through. To maximize our water usage, we're going to make the chamber here only as big as a can of gas. I'm going to take squares from that plastic bag and tape them down and cut them to size. These are going to be the side walls for the uh, chamber. Now that we've figured out the size that we want the chamber, what we can do is put some tape upside down and tape the plastic to the tape. And do this on both sides. And then what we can do after that is we can fold the other side of the sign back over onto it. Push it down. And then we have our chamber. Now you can use just a, a one straight piece of PVC pipe. I use two different sizes just so I can collapse it down and throw it in my bag. But anyway, after taping the top of one of these pipes, you're going to want to poke a bunch of holes in it, and this is going to create a shower head. That way when you dump the water in there, it's not just going into one spot. It's going to go all throughout the chamber, and uh, now we'll fit this onto the uh, sign here. I didn't cut the hole big enough, obviously. And you put it in about, you know, three, four inches maybe. Flatten it back down. And we'll add a little bit of tape to get everything secure. The gas can land here. What we're going to do is we're just going to pull the paper clip off the side of our uh, protest sign here. And it's going to pop open. We'll be able to put that right over the top of the canister and dump a bunch of water in there. And there you have it, folks. Stay safe out there.